just a quickie. This is a bit low tech, but basically, what we've done is uh, so I've put in a for loop just to do a, a mark space ratio, and you can see it's uh, what about 1 to 50, and then just did it as an infinite loop just so we can see on the Raspberry Pi. And what's noticeable as you can hear is as I do stuff. is that the, the CPU process has been interrupted and so it kicks the cycle a little bit. Yeah, so I'm going to have to find out about real time stuff. And maybe, I don't know, who knows. Anyway, so it's working through the Raspberry Pi on the GPI r one and all I've done is just patched it in and taken the Arduino out of the circuit but I've kept the uh, temperature in there as well just to make sure. And the motor is turning, if you can see it. Uh, if you can see it. And I've got my scope on it, you can see, you would be able to see. There you go, there's the mark space. Uh, what frequency have we got? Let's have a look. So, I've got... It's going to be to there. Frequency is 188 hertz. If you can read that off, 188 hertz. And yeah, and the uh, so that's 5.3 milliseconds. So if I go back to the first one, just pull it in. Oops, wrong way. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and that's 200 microseconds pulse. 5.3 milliseconds or 5,300 milliseconds at uh, microseconds. So that's uh, 200 to 500. Yeah, so 0.2. Yeah, and it's working. And temperature's not getting too high. I think that I can actually put the. Let's put it on the uh, gate so I can see what the gate looks like. But it is. It's pretty poo. Let's have a look. Down and you can see. Okay, what is that? That's 20 volt. Wow, showing a 20 volt spike. But I think there might be something wrong. Oh, yes, there is. I'm on the wrong uh, supply rail. <laughs> so, if I put it onto the correct supply rail, just excuse me while I do this. There we go. Okay, there. And you can see, maybe, <laughs> if you can, that the, uh, the gate charge is pretty quick, but the discharge is slow. And so, in order to enhance that, what I'm probably going to have to do is put a Darlington pair onto the uh, gate so that we can get that discharge curve. Because the discharge curve is working through a resistor, a 1K resistor. And I think the... Uh, <coughs> it's a BC557, maybe, that's discharging. 5475, I don't know which it was. Gains about 200, which means that it's 1K divided by 200 to give you an effective... Uh, resistance to discharge, roughly. A uh, thousand divided by 200 is about uh, 5 ohms. Is that right? 5 ohms, yeah. Which actually isn't too bad for these because uh, they are specced up with 10 ohm resistors on the gates. So that's not too bad, but I want it faster. So if we stick a, an extra transistor in there to give it another 200 gain. And that brings the 5 down to well, milli-ohms, which means it'll be pretty quick. So if I put in an additional pair into there, then that will do. The circuit we're using is... Nope, get away, I'm doing torrent stuff there, that's naughty. And I've got... Uh, yeah, it's this one, isn't it? So the circuit that we're actually using is that, but here we've got a Raspberry Pi instead. It's pretty much the same. We haven't got anything on this side because we haven't hooked it up. Probably just jump with the Raspberry Pi in there. Hmm. So there we go.